He's had a week to recalibrate himself and get right. And he completes his first pass to Josh Malone. Completes his second pass in a row, complete to Josh Smith. Dodge hands it off to Hurd, and Hurd picks up the first down. Get a jet sweep to Tyler Bird and brought down. The legal block in the black. Number three of the offense. Ten yard penalty. First down. I, I, Antoine Wilder. Well, that might have been the penalty. Yeah, that's Antoine Wilder who got caught up. Number four, Dobbs sets up the screen. And Kelly got those jets going, got the first, well, close to the first down anyway. Then they try to get Dobbs back into the rushing attack. Hands it off to Kelly. And Kelly picks up the first down. It like they've been ambushed, Jonesy. Hmm. Interesting. High snap. Dobbs wise to just fall on the loose ball for it down the field. Dobbs keeps it. Very proficient runner stopped up by Allen Williams. Right there. Dobbs complete. Well, incomplete drop, frankly. I got my school notebooks, review my notes. I got my football notebook to go over plays and film. And Student athlete in the true sense. Back to pass here. Through the hands of his tight end. Dodds making a play with his legs. And then some. He's not going to stop. Flag thrown. Dodds scores. Let's see if it's. So, Jonesy, South Carolina ran a blitz. It got picked up. That might be the last blitz that they run tonight after this. Uh play by Dobbs. Almost have to say it was a personal foul. There were two fouls on the play, both by each team. One by each team. Holding during the run. Offense number three. After the play, dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number three of the defense. Number three has disqualified himself. So Chris Lamont is out of the game. Let's take a look at the hold first, though. Yeah, well, and it really wasn't necessary. Take a look down here. That's where your hold is going to happen. Watch here. And, you know, you really don't need this. I mean, Dobbs is on his way. He's going, there's no reason to, to have the hold go on right there, but there it is. And then in the end zone, there's this going on. You got Jennings hooked up with LeMans, and they are throwing hands. Huh. I mean, seriously. Yeah, LeMans, uh, for all that, it's first and 10 from the 13. On the reverse, this is Bird. Got a blocker in front of him. Stopped up short of the five. Second and two. Kelly again, nowhere to go. It's going to be third and just as much. Dobbs keeps it. Man, it's going to be close. Okay, decision time. That's a good spot by the official. Jalen Hurd, the big back in, and a lot of moving up front. Flags thrown. Let's see who it's against. How healthy is he? We find out there. Hurd. Stop. Third and goal. Gets another chance. And pounds it in for the... Dodds had a big run on that last scoring drive. With a screen here. Complete to Krupp. Blitz coming. And Dobbs sacked back at the 14-yard line by Jonathan Walton. Jonathan Walton with the blitz. A little delayed blitz gets inside of Chance Hall. The right tackle never got a hand on him.
Dobbs into traffic and intercepted by King. Want pocket passes. They want Dobbs to have to see openings or try to find openings in the zone. They're dropping eight, and he couldn't find King underneath. He could barely see. You see that? And there's King getting up there getting it. So the formula, get a negative play, drop eight, and force Dobbs to try and find a on the sidelines there. First down and ten. Jalen Hurd trying to turn the corner. Hurd again. This is the situation they wanted. John Kelly in the backfield. Dobbs fires. Off the mark, not sure who that was intended. Dobbs hands it off to John Kelly. Keeps those feet moving and driving and finally pushed out through a three hour driving snowstorm in Detroit a couple years ago to watch. Try to get a takeaway. Kelly again picks up the first down, leading 14 to 7. Dobbs kept it and got drilled back at the 30-yard line. He's going to lose three yards. T.J. Holliman was the first one to get there. Got there with T.J. Wano. Tremendous effort on the right side. That's part of that left side. Packages here. Smith in motion sets in the slot, and boy, Dobbs threw a terrible. Those guys dropping in the coverage. Got plenty of time, and incomplete intended for Smith. <laughs> On the jet sweep. He was just warming up with that, you know, had that five-mile jog with Glenn Mullen last week, as Dobbs keeps it for the first. Kelly, back to the line of speaking with you. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Dobbs fires complete. Good looking pass. Going with a lot of authority that time. Malone worked. Third and two. Hurd made a couple of guys miss. And to try and get them out of the gate faster. Dobbs. It's his receiver. Kroom, Jason Kroom, out of the back. Because that situation has not worked out well. Kelly with a nice move. Dobbs kept it and is going to be stoned for a loss on the play. Tennessee, remember, they have the tiebreaker over Florida having beaten them, but they need to win out to be in position yes. to win the East. And no field goal. They, they listened to Q, <laughs> decided that it wasn't a gimme three points and have brought the offense back out. So there's got to be something with Dobbs having an option of run pass. They don't look like they're lined up correctly. Play clock at two. Oh, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> Disconcerted and discombobulated. How do you Second call the timeout time and then come time back out. on the field and not run the play correctly and blow another timeout? Wow. Wow. That is, that's unbelievable. <laughs> it appeared almost right away that when Dobbs was waving at Josh Malone or one of his receivers out there, Juwan Jennings, yeah. one of the two that somebody wasn't where they should have been. Well, the three of them couldn't figure it out, and then Dobbs gets over there and tells Jennings to come to the other side and recognizes there's not enough time. And just like that, you had a timeout that you wasted and then brought another one right behind yeah. it. Wow. I know one thing. I'm not going to fault the aerospace engineer major. <laughs> no, but, but the karma and the rhythm yeah. is impacted now. Let's see what happens. Fourth and two. Jennings in motion. Dobbs on the rollout. Nobody open. Sack back at the 40. Gamecocks take over on downs. And there's a flag on the play. So hold on. 
Wait a minute, folks. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 93 of the defense, 15-yard penalty, first down, South Carolina. The foul, the penalty, pardon me, on Gerlich Jones after they had diagnosed and blown up the play for Dobbs. Second, let him run more. And hand it off to John Kelly here on first down. Kelly keeps those legs moving and an impressive moving of the pile for about seven yards after. Here's that empty formation that seems to favor Dobbs. Good behind Jawan Jennings in complete. That's the third drop that he's had tonight. Kelly breaking tackles again. A nice gain of about five. Injury third and three. Dobbs brought down about two yards short of the first. First and ten from the 20. Kelly in the backfield. Dobbs surveys complete over the middle of the field. Ethan Wolf all the way out to the 45 and a 25 yard gain. My view. Looks into the boundary incomplete. Knocked out of the second and ten. Dobbs. What a catch by Jawan. After, re after review, the pass is incomplete. Will be third down and ten. One man to beat, and he couldn't do it. And now he flings it out of bounds before he was brought down. On the 16, Dobbs, not even close. Intended for jump. Second and 10. Dobbs kept it and got took. And you get an inspired performance from a defense like this with Walton jumping off. Almost intercepted at the 27. Run coverages in the middle of the field and dare Dobbs to make the good throw. And he hasn't been able to do that. The drop back by three. Looked like they had some issues at the mesh point there. And Kelly finally just hasn't clicked for him this year. And not much burst. Not like Kelly out in the open field and on the move. Kelly pushed out of bounds. If you're just joining us, not available tonight because of an injury. Is that a fumble? a fumble? That might be South a fumble. South Carolina ball. Looked like his own man ran into him. Well, Dob. Yeah, he, he never brought his arm forward. And remember, that's that's a backup player yep. stepping in there because Kelly came out. And since his arm never went forward there, and, and, and it doesn't work out for you. But yeah, you can be safer. Dobbs, middle of the field, complete. Jennings still on his feet and a flag. Personal foul, targeting, defense number 24, the previous play. So they've got DJ Smith there with the hit to the head. He took the worst of it. Yeah, too. he took the worst of it. The other thing is, I, I, I'm not so certain. He does lead with the helmet there, but you don't have any real. He's not launching. You know, no factor of him looking for that. It looks like he's trying to brace and use his arms and his shoulder. And you've got Jennings coming down. I, I, I'm not a fan of throwing a guy out when he doesn't really show you a factor. Right. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. The 15 yard from the end of first and 10, all the way down to the 37. John Kelly back in the ball game. Second and eight. Dodge, plenty of time, delivers a strike. Complete to Kroom. They give us the Kelly. 
Got a hit of steam. Kelly on the move. And he picks up another Volan target at 6-3. Handoff is to Kelly between the tackles. Dobbs into the end zone. Touchdown. Has made some great catches this year, including a Hail Mary catch against Georgia. Put it up for him, let him go get it. He can see the field. They fake the jet sweep to Kelly. That's in trouble, and it's picked off. Josh Smith. He did not see King come off of Malone on the other side. He was late with the throw. And he knew it, too. Remember, Tennessee 123rd in FBS in turnovers. A couple of times. Dobbs into traffic. Wow, what a catch by Jim. And every throw should go to Jennings. And they spike it to stop the play. Dobbs surveys wide open. Great play for the balls out of bounds. Trying to get Aaron Medley in range. Dobbs caught. Income. Dobbs looking the other way. Taking a lot of time. Too much time. He's got to get out of bounds. Steps out of bounds at the season. Hanging in the balance here. Career long. Medley for the tie. No way. Game Fox, win it. Well, this time it wasn't to be for Tennessee. And Will Muschamp with his second conference win. Well, you're asking for a bit too much from 58. They needed another 7 to 10 yards to have a shot. Doesn't. Doesn't look like it belongs to Tennessee any longer. Let's go down to Quinn. Coach, you had a feeling this would be a special night. How do you best describe this environment? Well, I just look at it. Turn that camera and show all them folks up there. Well, we have been. They doing made that, a coach. difference. They made a difference tonight. Our players played fantastic against a very good Tennessee football team. You talked about the importance of confidence and belief. What, what does this mean in that well, direction? They, they've kept fighting. They've kept believing. Our fan base has been unbelievably positive about everything we're trying to do. And we haven't arrived. This is a good win for us. We needed this. Congratulations, Coach. Behind a true freshman quarterback who should still be celebrating his senior year in high school. Gamecocks win it by three. Coming up next, college football continues. Washington State takes on Oregon State. For Rod Gilmore and Quint Kesnick, I'm Mark Jones. Thanks for watching, everybody. What a night. Let's send it back to Chris Hassel in the studio.